Stop motion is an animated video technique that physically manipulates an object in small increments between individually captured frames so that the object exhibits independent movement or change as the series of frames is played. It can be used to animate any object, but the most commonly used ones are puppets with movable joints or puppet animation or clay figures, clay animation or claymation. Model animation uses a puppet, model, or clay figure built around an armature. Stop motion with live actors is often referred to as pixelation. Stop motion from flat materials such as paper, cloth, or photographs is commonly referred to as cutout animation. So, how can we use Premiere Pro to create and work on stop motion, and is it a good practice? The first feature film to heavily use stop-motion animation was 1925's The Lost World, adapting Arthur Conan Doyle's adventure story about an explorer discovering a dinosaur-inhabited plateau in South America. The Lost World used animated models to create the most realistic dinosaurs ever seen on film at the time. The fact that it was used extensively, dinosaurs made such an impression on audiences that its creator Willis O'Brien survived the transition to talkies and worked on another seminal film, 1933's King Kong. While this film set the stage for all subsequent giant monster films, his brilliant stop-motion movie Kong remained in the public imagination and inspired many young talents to enter his stop-motion animation field. Stop-motion has been an essential part of the beauty of film animation for decades. Development during this period has resulted in significant advances in innovation, model quality, themes, and scripts to help you stay up to date and stay competitive in this competition. Stop motion will remain a significant art form for the coming decades as new artists enter and experiment with this medium. In Premiere Pro, while working on projects requiring stop motion edits, you'll undoubtedly face issues during this process be it because of poor materials or unqualified resources for creating your ideas. Sometimes you are more at ease, ensuring your vision aligns with what can be realistically done in the real world before anticipating starting a project. In the case of stop motion, Premiere is not a magic wand that will immediately give you the desired result. There is a lot to take into consideration before even attempting to sue the software that is unequivocally a fantastic tool for video editors. But stop motion is a beast of its own that doesn't only make it hard for editors but also filmmakers and directors. Every frame, every shot, and every single hint of dust must be perfect to have an authentic scene to implement into your project. Premiere Pro offers a speedy workflow with a variety of tools to accommodate for a few inconveniences that might occur after a session has been recorded and is ready to be edited which is a good step towards making the project come closer to the finish line. There are many editing software options to choose from. Some are designed for smartphones and tablets, others for desktops and laptop editing. You can use free or paid software to create motion animations depending on your skill level. Beginners can start with simple software that is easy to use with a user-friendly interface. After all, the individual images must be combined into an animated film. If you want to spend money on software, we recommend Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut, or even Sony Vegas Pro. Then, all you need is a PC, and you can start making movies immediately. Once you've mastered the initial editing process, you can get post-production editing software that can remove unwanted objects, like wires, from your shots. You can also color correct your animation for a professional looking finish. The best thing to consider if you're considering trying stop motion animation is that it's perfectly possible to use it to your advantage, regardless of the available resources. Whether you're shooting with a professional camera or your cell phone, creating your own props or animating things around your home, you'll be captivated by a creative idea and a little patience. You can create fantastic stop motion animations. So even if Premiere Pro is not a go-to tool for creating stop-motion projects, however, it can provide sufficient training and a basic understanding of the ins and outs of the medium to which anyone can acquire and adhere to.
Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and see you in the next video.